Well, although parents, of course, have the responsibility of rearing their children in, in ways that will uh, not only make them good citizens, but make them good men and women. Uh, so I think everybody has that obligation. Uh, I think I, I always come back to the responsibility of Christians because they're my brothers and sisters. That's the family uh, that I'm a part of. And I think that we should be forthright in, in again, bearing witness to the Lordship of Christ. I think that um, Christians can be um, presidents of major uh, public universities even now. Uh, because Christians frequently perform well, they have a, a, a high view of the human person, they treat people well, and they believe that there's a purpose to life. So they can, they achieve, they can become great achievers. Uh, but once, once they're there, they can't be silent. They've, they always have to consider their audience. So you don't necessarily, if you're president of a university, you don't necessarily run around handing out tracts, you know, or using your position as a preaching point. But there is a way that a Christian bears witness to the kingdom as president of a university. Um, that's distinct. He doesn't bear witness as though he was a talk show host. He bears witness in a different way. There's different norm, kingdom norms and standards. Uh, a physician, uh, a Christian physician bears witness by being an excellent physician that keeps in mind the nature of the human person. The, the, the patient is somebody who's made in, in the image and likeness of God. Uh, uh, somebody, a Christian in the field of retail, uh, the world, the retail world has changed a lot since I was involved in it. But one of the things we tried to do when I was uh, managing retail stores was to make sure that every person who entered the store was greeted as a potential brother and sister in Christ. Uh, you, you do things differently uh, as a Christian. It may not appear much uh, to some outsiders, but I think it makes, uh, I think in the long run, it makes a difference between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of this world.